Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Click PLC update firmware. And up on my screen here, what you'll see is we've just downloaded the newest version. In our, our case, it's 2.30 of the Click PLC uh, software. And we've started it up. And what we'll do is connect to our PLC that has an existing program in a previous version. So let's just uh, click the connect to PC, PLC. And here you can see that we are going to attempt to connect Ethernet. It's on our network. Here is the um, PLC itself that we're connecting to. So we'll just hit connect. And yes, we're going to read the project from the PLC. We'll hit OK. Um, it's saved in an earlier version, as we know. So do I make a copy? Yes. So we'll do that. You'll notice that it's actually going to save it as version 2.10. So we'll hit save. And now what pops up is our version of, of the PLC program that's in there. So if we actually look to our PLC, we're actually connected through our Ethernet port located right here. And currently we're in the run mode. So now we're online right now and you can only do the uh, firmware update online. And there's two different ways. You can go to the PLC menu and then hit the update firmware located right here. Or we can go to under the navigation, go to PLC and we hit update firmware. So when we update the firmware, we will click that. And the first thing you'll see is that will actually come up and tell us um, our firmware, where it is. So it's a click, click Ethernet. It's uh, the firmware version is 2.30. Our previous version in our PLC is actually a version 2.10. So we can hit uh, uh, refresh just to make sure that that's that is the version so it will go out to the PLC grab that information again and in our case everything's good we can look at the uh, you can view the firmware history and on the new version here it will support on the Ethernet units the one that we have here with DC inputs high-speed counting and timing and then it lists some improvements as well and some bugs that they fixed so we hit close there and then we can actually hit update and what it will do is it'll say make a backup copy and, and install the new firmware or install the new firmware, with the firmware without making a backup copy. We will make a backup copy so we'll just say OK and there we go and this is everything that we have here so we'll just say OK and our backup copy we'll save we'll replace it now before we do the update, it asks us to actually put the switch into stop mode. So let's just do that. Stop the CPU. And yes, we want to update. So right now, we are updating at 40, 55%. And we're at 80% right now. Okay, we're in the second phase of our update. Okay. So you can see there's a, a few different steps to this process as we update. And remember that we're keeping our existing program that's in there. Um, current. So now we have a message that firmware was updated successfully from version 2.10 to version 2.30. So just hit OK. And what we'll do is here's our PLC now at version 2.3 and our program at 2.03. So we just hit close now. Now our version and our CPU is the exact same. So that's all there is to it and we've kept our existing program intact. And then we can actually go back and we can actually run this program once again. Now, if you like this video and like to see more, 
There are three ways in which you can help us out. You can give us a thumbs up so other people can find this information. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel at the end of the video. You can also go to ACC Automation and subscribe to our website. When you do, a notification will be given to you every time we publish new content to the site. You'll also get two free ebooks, a numbering systems, and robust data logging. And the third thing to do to help us out is to tell a friend or colleague about the site. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.